Once the grand city of the gnomes, Numbergon is now a mechanized city infested by trogs, dark iron dwarves, and leper gnomes. The events that led to the city's fall were many, but at the heart of it all is a former gnome of high regard who is becoming a great threat to the safety of all who reside in the snow-covered peaks of Dunmorrow. Mechjanir Thermoplug was once a brilliant and wise tinker, and despite being tragically frail even at a young age, he was for sure destined to become a high tinker. Thermoplug had high aspirations for his future, so he put great effort into charming those in high places in an effort to bring more gnomes to his side. He created one great invention after the other, and worked obsessively towards making his goal of becoming a high tinker a reality. As his obsession grew, he envisioned the creation of a great kingdom from Nomergon that would carve out the entire western half of Dunmoro, which meant relocating nearby dwarven communities in the name of progress. All this while envisioning his ultimate place as the first true king in over 400 years. Nothing would stop him until one day the Council of Tinkers judged Thermoplug as too ambitious, and instead named his best friend Gelbin Mechatork as the new high tinker of Nomragon. Thermoplug's sanity broke that day, and so he plotted to someday gain revenge over the success of his friend. Through working the system and gaining favor among the intellectual elite, Thermoplug eventually won the seat of advisor to the high tinker. Still a very imaginative engineer, he served as advisor for many years, all while continuing to covet the role of high tinker. When the Horde of Trogs were unearthed from the Uldamon excavation, it was Thermoplug's idea that the gnomes shut themselves from the outside world. He convinced Megatork that the world did not need to be bothered by the gnome's problems, but unknowing to the High Tinker, this idea was a mere plot to discredit the image of Megatork so Thermoplug could later win the throne. The Trog invasion became more of a problem, and as they advanced further into the city, the desperation of the gnomes began to grow. After weeks of debate, Thermoplug was able to convince Megatork to flood the halls of Nomergon with a radiation bomb in an attempt to kill the Trogs. Should a few gnomes die in the process, he stated, it would be a worthy sacrifice for saving our entire race. Using trickery to convince Megatork to open the flood vents and release the bomb's radiation upon the city, knowing the end result was treason of the highest order. When the bomb went off, Thermoplug found himself locked inside of Nomergon, and despite his frailty, he did not die. He doesn't remember how he became locked inside, but most believe it was his sheer ambition that saved him. Likely, it was because he suffered a minimal amount of radiation poison. But regardless, he lived only to mutate into a leper gnome. The effects of the radiation bomb killed more gnomes than it did trogs, and many others who survived the event only suffered to become leper gnomes themselves. In the chaos of it all, Thermoplug had begun to call himself king, and to this day rules over the leper gnomes as they continue to fight the trogs. He keeps to himself most of the time since becoming king of Nomergon, and works tirelessly on insane world-conquering inventions that thankfully will never see the light of day. Thermoplug is paranoid beyond any sense of rational thought, and destroys anything that disturbs his work which includes his own leper servants. Only recently has he opened up negotiations with Dark Iron Dwarves, and he allows them to use Nomergon's tunnels in exchange for a part of Ironforge he may one day call his own. It is now well known that Thermoplug sabotaged the city in an attempt to become High Tinker, and that he now lives in a purpose-built mechanical walker that makes him a terrifying sight to behold. While he retains none of his former pull over the gnomes, those that were driven mad by the radiation remain in their machinations of war in his aid. The tragic events that occurred in Nomergon weigh heavily on Megatork's heart, and in his rage he has ordered the death of Thermoplug for his treason. A call has gone out among the Alliance to take an expedition into the radiated halls of the former city. 
and bring swift justice to the gnome who nearly wiped out the entirety of the gnomish race. <laughs>